for tonight's FSW Against All Odds Rumble. Matt Vandegrift. Matt, in the past, no one has gone from being entrant number one to successfully being the last man standing in the Rumble. Like What's your strategy to make that happen tonight? My strategy? My strategy tonight is going to be something no one out there has seen me do before. I'm going to beat the 29 other competitors. I'm going to go on to the main event. And Chris Bay, remember, man, third time's a charm. I'm taking that title. Weighing in at 195 pounds, hailing from Laguna Beach, California, Heart of Gold, Matt Vandegrift! He is entrant number one. He will have to do what Sway Thompson was not able to do. Go from number one all the way to the end. Sway Thompson got as close as anybody else. Here in FSW, is it Vandegrift's time? Yeah, nobody. And the ads are the most. Entry number two. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll find out who's first against. Weighing in at 165 pounds from San Diego, California, top boy, Danny Lonlon. Vandegrift. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Doesn't give a damn. He realizes what he has to do. Him and Limelight. They, more than anyone else, have the odds stacked against them in this matchup, and Vandegrift has become a successful competitor by taking these risks. Yeah, top boy. Danny Limelight making his FSW debut, but Chris Bay, you know him well. I know him very well. I have faced this man in a couple different states, and even next week we'll be facing off in Rhode Island, but tonight it's about this championship around my waist, and if he has what it takes to get it done here at FSW. You know, he is definitely looking to make an impression. He's been wanting to get here in FSW for a long time, and when a spot opened in the Rumble, he quickly accepted. Okay, well, let's see if he can accept the challenge at hand. Oh! And I think he can, I think he can, okay, I believe. Standing Spanish fly plants Vandegrift. Now he's got to try to lift up the dead body weight of Vandegrift and hurl him out of the ring. Wait, 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 we have another entry. Introducing entry number three, Shaggy This is the Manic Lovin'. Yeah, you only have so much time to make an impression. And speaking of impressions, the feet of Shaggy McLovin are into the chest of Danny Limelight. They've been impressed in there, and now both men laid out imploding cannonball. You talk about talent. You talk about hunger. Look no further than Shaggy McLovin. I mean, this guy has impressed us in the No Limits division. He's had some great matches with your champion, Chris Bay. And now here he comes in, House of Fire, taking it to Vandegrift and Limelight. Who Ar wants this? He absolutely does, arguably. The most improved athlete in FSW, but holy hell, Danny Limelight. So far, he is uh, looking like he definitely deserves a spot here in FSW. He might be the most flattened superstar now after that DDT. Jeez. Look at this, time is flying. Another minute has gone by. Number four. Introducing entry number four. Control Chaos, Adrian Nocton. Someone get this dude help. Spinning back fist connects with the jaw of limelight. You know, Adriel Noctis is a guy who's been around for about a year or so here in FSW, and he seems to be improving every day, but there's a lot of guys that he has to take out if he wants to uh, get on top of the No Limits division. Ooh, nice chop to the chest. Or if he wants a shot at the title tonight. The FSW Championship, Whoa. Vandegrift slips. And that's where the high risk sometimes really. But that time he connects, flipping pile driver. That was a Canadian destroyer if I've ever seen one, which is a flipping pile driver. Yeah, a McLovin destroyer though in that case. Oh, well, that's exactly what it did. I don't know, he, he might eliminate himself after that one. I would, no I wouldn't, that's why I'm here. And once again, another minute going by. Gotta yeah. love the rumble, Chris Bay. Introducing entry number five, the songbird of professional wrestling, Ricky Tenacious. The man most likely to challenge you tonight. Not for the title, but at a karaoke bar. Well, geez, 
It's a slot on my new mixtape coming up. All he had to do was ask, but... You let him on your mixtape? I mean, <laughs> maybe if he paid me, if he paid me. Once again, nice double drop kick, Danny Limelight. Limelight is on fire. I mean, paying you is how some people get in the Battle Royal, but not tonight. You know, there's the uh, few crazies here tonight that are actually uh, cheering for Ricky Tenacious. How do you know they're crazies? Maybe they're just, maybe they've been paid off. Whoa, 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 Shaggy's gonna get dumped, he's gonna get dumped, he's gonna get dumped! Shaggy's seen his chances. It's gonna be over, it's gonna be over. A challenge wow. for the title, almost taken was away from him. It was a close one. You're filming this, Chris. You're taking selfies? Of course. I we're, mean, we're live on Twitch. We are live on Twitch. We're you wanna retweet that and let people know, that'd be cool. What do you think I'm doing over here? I don't Dude, know. Give me the benefit of the doubt. And once again, we are counting down. We have gone through five. Nobody has been eliminated yet. Limelight, yeah, yeah. He's he's holding on with everything he has. Remember the name Lights, right. Camera Fashion, Action, Why? You, you gotta be more judicious about who you let in this match. This man right here had the audacity to run me up at the school the other day. I don't know if you saw it. He had a lot of words to say about how he was gonna be the man to beat me because he sat here ringside as a cameraman my entire career and has seen all of my moves. I had to remind him that unlike the gum I was chewing, Chris Bay has never been stale. I never do the same thing twice. And if lights, camera, Braxton were to win the night, I will destroy him. So yeah, I think so. That would be the biggest upset in the history of What, FSW. him beating Braxton? I think it'd be a pretty quick match. I think Joe is more speaking of yes, him yes. winning those one. Okay. Him getting past all these other awesome competitors. Well, not I mean, that he's not awesome himself. He's not. He, he, he is the best wrestling cameraman in the business today. Look, if you see, if you see it the way I see it, once you get yourself a fact, there's only one way to go. He looks like he stole his tights from Kaiju Big Battle Legend Silver Potato. You're right there, Chris. Introducing entry number yeah, seven, uh, representing please. Lights Camera Faction, The Fly Fresco. So what was your thinking when, you, did you draw this? I didn't draw it, it was random? The random luck of the draw. So that's, that's luck right there. Well, luck is for losers. So if they're as bad as you say they are, then that's why they came out next to each other. Oh, I'm just joking around. I don't feel like getting a talking to when I go in the back. They're very talented, although right now in the ring, if I had to pick a winner, I would go with Vandegrift or Shaggy. But Danny Limelight's very impressive. Yes, very impressive today, but I'll tell you what. Lights, camera, Braxton may not have any victories, but if they get their first one tonight, that that's all that matters. That pose looks familiar oh to me. I don't know if you guys recognize They were mocking you, and who would have thought Ricky Tenacious would outsmart anybody? He saved me. He's, I told you, he's on my mixtape. He's good to go. Hidden track. He can be the Easter egg. There you go. He's going to give it to us. Hold on. I don't Not a fan of his singing. I was only going to suggest vocal lessons, but I guess two double super kicks, that works too. I, I, mean. I got to say, I think I'm uh, becoming a big fan of Danny Limelight. Hey, Anytime you can shut eight. down Ricky the Tenacious. Fighter, Hero Lou. Wow, that is a physical specimen if I've ever seen one. Look at the build on this guy. You know, this guy has all that it takes to be a star here. You know, he is a guy, you know, when we look through things, we saw guys like Chris Bay. Rookie of the Year, Shogun Jones, last year's Rookie of the Year. It really looks like this year he's really standing out, Hero Lou, coming back from a, a torn ACL. He is really seeming to be quickly rising the ranks here in FSW. Hey, the man had six months taken from his career with a torn ACL, I believe. When he came back, he was on a mission. He wanted to make a statement. He wanted to make people realize just how talented. Oh, damn. Ricky Tenacious has been eliminated. Wow, there goes your pick. He was, I don't remember who I picked. You picked Ricky. I'm going to go, I believe you. You picked Ricky. I'm going to tell you right now, this, I don't know how many rumbles these guys have been in, but I don't know why they're not ganging up after Hero Lee here. That would be the smart thing to do. You go after the bigger man, you eliminate him, and you leave your chances at better odds than you saw. 
see, look at that. Now he's just gonna toss everybody around because no one wants to take out the big man. He's too worried about Vanderbilt. But I think he's got, wait, wait, he's got him going in. One, two. Vinny Wasco. What? What happened to his chaos hair? Wow, this man right here he has a big date tomorrow with Chris Masters, but tonight he, whoa! Bushwhacker Luke! Wow! Bushwhacker Luke style, wow. he's gone! Wow! You'll get him next year. Probably wow. not. Wow! Bye, Vinny! Bye, Owasco! Can wow! He, can he just come back with a mask on and call himself Dusk? I think that would be a great idea. And Vinny Wasco quickly eliminated. And Lights Camera Braxton or Lights Camera Faction or whatever they're going by. Yep, the guy in the spacesuit, if you forget who we're talking about. The guy with the silver spacesuit thing. That guy. Yeah, and in the ring we have a lot of people who have been considered up and comers in FSW. So some of the favorites have yet to, none of the favorites really have entered this match yet. From anywhere, there are players, Leon Hader! Wow, we have Leon Hader in the rumble. Leon Hader, long awaited return. Whoa, 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 we got him a body. I haven't seen him since the 10th anniversary event. Former tag team champion. On numerous occasions. He would be the most experienced man in the match at the moment. Ladies and gentlemen of my Instagram Live, I am here at Against All Odds with Joe DeFalco. We've got my man in the back right here, and we've got my guy right here. We're keeping it locked. We're at the Rumble Against All Odds. Everybody's in here. Everybody's gunning for the champ. We are live on Twitch. Go see that if you're not here. If you got two monitors, put it up on both screens. This is a rumble. Dueling streams for the first time ever in FSW. I'm going to be grabbing a bite to eat. I'll be back in about 20. I think Chris got it handy. Yeah, we can do it. No, 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 no. You're going to sit right here. You're going to watch what we're watching. The best seat in the house. Bro. No doubt about it. Entry number 11, representing the Samoan Dynasty, Sepha Batu. He's here. He's here. Hey, this man has made it clear he's coming for your championship, and he wants a shot at it. And if he can win tonight, he gets fast-tracked to, to a chance at you Whoa. for that title. You know, he is a former Nevada State champion and kind of disappeared from FSW for a while until he teamed up with you, Chris Bay, at Survival of the Fittest. And now he is back, and he is back with a vengeance. And he made it clear that night what he wants. He wants the shot at the gold. Look at Shaggy, though. Gets caught. Whoa. Down he goes. And just a swinging Uranagi. Plant Shaggy. But he doesn't see Vandegrift from behind. Vandegrift. Vandegrift looking to finesse. Yeah, look at the steal one on Sefa Fatu. Sefa Fatu fights him off. Inside the ring, Leon Hader hits the buckle hard. Whoa, say that now. Watch out there now. Oh, Adriel Noctis tried to go up to the top and it failed him. And Noctis got Adriel knocked Noctis off the top rope and he's gone. And Hero Lou has decided who he's going after. So now we've got three members of Lights Camera Faction in here with the assistants at ringside. He just tossed Rocky G in the chain. I don't know what's going to go on with that. Okay. But look at this. Rocky. That away. They are, you want to talk about working together, Chris Bay? Lights, camera, faction. They are going three on one on Sefa Fatu. Fairness. If that would be a fair fight, the three of them against Sefa. Up oh, two of them. Two of them are gone. Watson. Action Braxton has been eliminated. He's still around, but Sefa Fatu isn't playing tonight. This is serious business for Sefa Fatu, a man with maybe part of the family with the longest history in this sport. I would love nothing more than for Sefa Fatu to be the one out of these 30 to face me tonight because I want to finally beat this team. The Killjoy, Lazarus! You know, you guys went. He's back. Lazarus. 
Double duty Lazarus. For those of you who weren't here because we weren't live on Twitch yet, at the pre-show, Lazarus just finished competing, and here he is, putting in twice the work tonight. He wants a shot. He wants a match. He wants three matches tonight, he said. Give it, give it, give it all to him. Let's see if he can do it. And Lazarus just getting abused. Poor guy. You would think he's part of the Braxton faction the way he's getting manhandled. You know, in the first two that started, Van de Griff and Danny Limelight still going strong. Yeah, Van de Griff and Limelight have a great performance. Whoa! Oh, look at Limelight. Okay, oh my God. My, I wanted him to stay. Can he stay? I'm, hey, I'm hey man, as you know, not everybody can win. You see a lot of great uh, potential opponents. But other than Sefa too, we haven't seen any of the other favorites yet in this match enter into the fray. Look at that, it looked like Watson was about to be eliminated. And Braxton and Fresco saved their guy. Here he is. Who's this? Ladies and gentlemen, Thompson. One of my best friends in this business, and he looks like he's ready for a basketball game. I'll tell you, I saw some of his comments today. You uh, are not very, uh, not very fan friendly. Uh, Swade talking about you today, Chris Pitt. And it's okay because. Swade is getting very old. Wow, Leon Hayden is eliminated. By a man that he trained at the kids' class. Wow, and that's back to what I'm talking about, about age, Joe DeFalco. Swade is very old, so he said what he said about me. Sure, he wins the Rumble, sure. I will end his career tonight. He will never wrestle again, Joe DeFalco, if he goes uh, up against Chris Bay. He's going back to the old times of the power. Oh, no! Wow. I think he learned that in the... San Francisco territory when he was wrestling Tora Tanaka back in the 70s. I Wade think, Thompson, I think a very he, old he man, like him. you said. I think he trained him, actually. I, Swade's very old. If Swade's old, what's that mean about Joe? Yeah, forget it, I'm ancient. <laughs> and right now, Lights Camera Faction, they are trying to cheer on their guy Watson. He's the only one left. Oh, and look at this, Zephyr wow. so There goes the blue meanie. Willie Mack just joined us live here on my Instagram. He's oh, I was like, where's Willie? He's probably, what, like four miles from here right now? Possibly. Wow. Quite frankly, this could be the strongest mouse in this match. We have him here. The powerhouse is here. I'm sorry. The power mouse is here, and he just might toss everyone out. Lazarus, maybe next time, buddy. Maybe next time. Yeah, well, okay. yeah, with Lazarus gone, Macho, Macho Mouse would be the strongest rodent in this contest. And here comes Watson. Whoa! Oh, look, oh. Look, whoa, whoa. they See, saved that's him. That's the advantage right there that I'm talking about. Wow. And look at this, they're this holding him up. Oh, EC Dope, EC Dope. No, he's still up. Sessa can't get rid of Watson. Wow. Zephyr Fatu single-handedly has eliminated Light's camera faction. And look at this, here comes Danny Limelight. There's no rest Whoa, for what? the wicked here at that. FSW against all odds. He had to put a little bit of elbow and grease and to get him, but he got him. One half of the bonus, boy. Okay, business is picking up. Big money clutches in the house. Oh, hey. boy. So tell me, Joe, what's going on with yourself and RMB? What's what's the problem here? You I know, don't... on November 29th, I'm going to uh, talk a little bit about the situation with the Bonus Boys and Remy Marcel. Now is not the time or the place for his bank. I just, I just want to know, Joe. I just want to know. You know. Because if there's opportunities that are not being given or being given, then why are they in the Rumble in the first place? This is the biggest opportunity you can get around here. You if know, you here's a team, Clutch and Sugar Brown. I believe they've been uh, FSW Tag Team Champions on multiple occasions, but then they cry about how they're not getting opportunities. And then, and then what? Both of them are in the Rumble? And of course, both of them are on the Rumble. Hey, I don't know. Joe. I'm a businessman. My job is to make sure we have the best guys like Danny Limelight. We've, we've seen his work. He's been recommended by a lot of people. He gets an opportunity. If, if he shits the bed, then guess what? We're not going to use Danny Limelight again. But Why are you allowed to curse on commentary? Oh, is that a curse word? And Macho Mouse. Botch. The ode to Randy Savage, the Mott O'Man. 
I've seen him wrestle. We call him the Bacho Man, where I'm from, okay. coming from. Okay. Why is it this version of Randy Savage? That sounds accurate. <laughs> you know. I'm with you on this one. Yeah, when he's in the ring, I'm expecting some 2K20 style glitches. Okay. <laughs> in a battle of the machos, Macho Man and Macho Mouse. It's what the world was waiting for. I don't think, wow, he got clutch. Wow. I, didn't, I, I, didn't, I just thought clutch would dispose of him quickly. And Mach firing away with the right hands. And look at Limelight and Whoa. Sway in the corner. Limelight almost eliminated, actually oh, eliminated. Limelight's done, that was my guy, that was my pick. Good, jo good job, old Swade. Swade Tom. Why is he your pick and not your best friend? Because I don't want to, I don't want to give him the old yeller. I don't want to have to do it to him. Yep. If it comes down to it, I will. Hey, good job, bro. You all. Well, he's almost that. been eliminated. Vandergriff holding on with everything he has. You figure he's got to be extremely tired at this point. Introducing issue number 18, representing Death Proof, Cutthroat, Cody Hancock. Listen to the crowd erupt, Cutthroat, Cody, and look at this. He's looking right at Clutch. These two had to be pulled apart last time at the FSW Arena. And these two are ready to tear each other apart. Notice Clutch went under the bottom rope, so he's not eliminated. We have to make that a point here. But you notice the first thing Clutch did was look at me like it's, it's, it's my fault. Everything is my fault with these guys. Well, Cody gave you an offer. The offer's on the table. If you want someone to handle it, he gave you his card, John. What the hell is this? And that was a rugged shot at a clutch. Oh, Whoa! No. Come on, I got my jewelry on. Oh man, I got my ice on. We got we got expensive equipment we don't own over here, guys. That's we don't right. own this. Hey, they don't own this. I own these chains. Be careful around here. Who are you, Mr. T? <laughs> you damn right, I'm Mr. T, Mr. C B. wrestlers here in FSW. Always good to see the pain train. Hey, yeah, you've never taken on Mazzani one-on-one, -on -one, have you? Never, never, ever have I. You know, if he puts the claw on you, Chris Bay, it's all over. And that's exactly what I was gonna say. The claw, look at it. If he puts that claw on anybody in here, it's over. Look. Even, oh man, and that's wow. a Samoan skull. Wow. Oh no, of course the Samoan skull helps him out. Wow, and Cody's still working clutch with that singlet on in the corner because he's wearing a singlet. Yeah, Cody hasn't even really entered the match yet. Clutch and him are still fighting at ringside. And we got the matches. Whoa. Oh, no. Whoa. The winner of the he's Halloween Gimmick Infringement Battle Royal has been eliminated. Oh. By Macho Mouse, and there's Macho Mouse. Oh, no. There's Macho Mouse by Shaggy McLovin. Wow. And there's a super kick. Oh man, now Cody might be in extra trouble. They finally made it their way back into the ring. And yep, the bonus boys have targeted cutthroat. My boys are in here, they're gonna take care of business. What happened? Where's your cheese? Well, well, he did eliminate the TNA version of Macho Man. But look at this, Shaggy going after both bonus boys, but that looks like it's backfiring. And Shaggy. And there goes Shaggy McLovin. And that is why the eliminated. bonus boys have been such an effective unit for all these years. So what does Shaggy come in number three? He came in at number three. We're at number 20, and there's still only seven men oh, left. We've got Vandergriff hung up over here. Number one could be in oh, high eight. jeopardy. It could be all coming to an end for Vandergriff's dreams here to face Chris Bay. Chris Bay is ringside. What's going on here? Third person, Chris. You're very Iceman King Parsons right now. Hey, you know, hey, when you, you got to do it. You know, hey, hey, you know. And look at this. Clutch is screaming for Cody to hit him harder. Look. Introducing entry number and 21. Now are representing be Death Proof, Jacob Austin. Yeah! And you're telling me this was random. You're telling me this was random. 30 guys, what are you talking about? I'm just saying, he's not wearing a singlet. I know that doesn't have anything to do with anything, but. Oh, and down goes Clutch, Sugar Brown. Sugar, the inverted Uranagi plants Cody. 
And there's the Sling Blade out of J Cafe. Like I said, a lot of bad blood with the Bonus Boys and Death Proof. We knew if their paths crossed in this match, things could get ugly. And down goes Jacob Austin Young. We got a lot of talent in that ring now. Any one of these men. And Sway looks tired. He looks like he needs to go shoot hoops instead. You look tired, boy. That's why he's resting. Him and Mazzani have teamed in the past. Maybe they'll form a unit now. Oh, no, not at all. Wow. He's going to claw the wrinkles. He switched up on him. We call that the old switcheroo on my block. And Dave Mazzani knows it's every man for himself if he wants okay. a shot. Introducing entry number 22, the big boss, Chocolate Therapy, Shogun Joe. Hey, and three of these men in the match now, Shogun, Sefa, and Swade, were the final four with you last year. And, wow. And Shogun Jones took you to the limit at no escape. That he did, I've been watching, I've been seeing this man grow, and I know his confidence is through the roof. But is that gonna be enough for him to combat this obstacle ahead of him? He knows it was one mistake that caused Oh, him. and look at that, can you believe it? Clutch is out of here. You're a little too happy. We're supposed to be borderline impartial. I'm borderline impartial for everybody. Except for them, oh! Jacob Austin Young and has been eliminated. And Jacob Austin Young, he is quickly dumped also. Say there now. Say and, there now. And Chris Bay getting a close up of Clutch. What? what? Good job. Wow! Clutch the monitor. Hey, he can put it on commentary too. Why can't I? Jacob The Italian Flamingo, Nick Bugatti. Oh man, I'm, look at the new tights on Bugatti. He's feeling himself. He's feeling confident. New gear, that always brings out a great performance in a wrestler, let me tell you. He's got a lot on his plate tonight. He's got to make sure he doesn't screw up when Maserati challenges Lacey Ryan for the women's title later. But down the aisle go Jay Cafe and Clutch. They're not being separated. They're going at each other as hard as they can. Imagine in a perfect world where Bugatti could walk out tonight as the FSW Heavyweight Champion and Maserati oh, look at this. walk out as the women's champion. They are both out. Wow. wow. Sugar Brown and, and Sugar Brown have been eliminated. And Matt Vandergriff starting at number one. He's still in it. Hey, that would be a perfect night for Bugatti and Maserati, but that would be the worst night in history for the fans of FSW. We do not make perfect nights for people. We do reality. I see you looking at me. I know what you're looking at. I know what you're looking at. Here is a newcomer to FSW, Jay Vidal. We've seen him the last couple of months. And my guy, Jay Vidal, is flung for real. He might just say how he feels, Joe DeFalco. You know, had a great match with Douglas James at Nightmare on Fremont Street and followed it up with a great performance against Damian Drake. I would think these two would get along better than anybody. That's what I say. And Jay Vidal trying to take out Bugatti. Here comes the big boss. Shogun Jones. Got a lot of big men in these matches, in this matchup with high expectations of what they're gonna accomplish tonight. Look at Vandergriff over here, he's sucking for oxygen. Absolutely, he started this matchup at number one. And he's, we're like over 30 minutes in almost. Yeah, and he's by far endured the most punishment in this contest. All right, who's next? That is the big question. Introducing entry number 25, the menace to society, Nino Black. A man who was your former tag team partner and held the goal. I haven't seen this man since two years ago at Against All Odds when we were supposed to defend the championships, our tag team championships, and he went MIA on me, Joe. You mean you never went to go visit? You darn oh, there goes never Bugatti. went to go visit, Joe. Eliminated. Where'd he go? And Nick Bugatti taken out by the youngster, but look at this, Sefa pouncing. Trying to eliminate Jay Vidal, who just hold, held on. Wow. Where do you learn that, from Nick Gage? That's why I'm telling you, I didn't visit that man. Sway because Thompson of actions like that. Your tag, your tag team championship partners just went at it. Look. 
trying to show their love for you, I guess. It's Dino Black wants to uh, maybe reconcile. What did, what did Dave Chappelle say? I plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. One, two, three, four, fifth. That's what I plead on this one. Introducing entry number 26. He is a holder of the FSW Tag Team Championship. Oh, no. This is Much like Setha, much like Shogun, this man has made it clear what he wants from you, Chris Bay, in two, and that's your title. In 2017, it was you and Graves, I believe, the final two. Is that correct? Along that with Brody King. King. That is correct, and after Brody King was disposed of, yes, yours truly eliminated Graves. And he hasn't gotten over it, apparently, because like you said, he's made it clear what he wants, and I've got that right around my waist. And just as sure as Nino Black's got on a Jason Voorhees jumpsuit, it's just as sure as I can be any one of the men in the room. And Jay Vidal made the biggest mistake of his young career. He went after Graves. Yeah, that's just stupid. Hey, we all got to learn somewhere. My first year, I went after uh, Lester the Legend. There you go. That's, that's just stupid. Out. It's very stupid. You got to learn somehow. You need to start at Ricky Tenacious. <laughs> your boy, Chris Bay. There's DJ T, and you know it's DJ, because it says it on the side of the trunks. That's very helpful for me sometimes, since I do no prep work before the show. Is he related to DJ Z? Uh, he could be the long-lost nephew. That's what I've heard on this on, on, on Reddit. I read, I read that on Reddit. He is DJ Hyde. He does have a DJ Hyde build. <laughs> They're he, all related, all the DJs. Yeah. Willie Mack is in my live chat popping me right now. Just as well as this conversation. Is Willie Mack watching? Tell him you can watch live on Twitch, Willie Mack. Yeah, Willie, add on to Twitch. Or if he or runs down quick, screen. we can get him in the match. Yeah. <laughs> you and Willie Mack would be a good uh, good matchup. Willie, number 30 just opened up. Get down here ASAP. For him, we'll do 31. 31 for you, Willie. DJ, get him, DJ. Show him your trunks. And once again, four, five, six, back to eight. Remaining competitors. DJT could shock the world. I mean, he's Chris Bay's pick, but I think most of the world is looking at Setha or Shogun or Graves or even Vandegrift. What about Nino Black? Nino Black. Kiku. Oh, no. All the way from Japan. Kiku Sun is here. I brought him in, Jake, just for you. Oh, I appreciate it. Oh, no. Oh, no. He just, he just broke his ribs trying to get in the ring. Down goes Kikataro. <laughs> Poor man. At least he didn't tear his quad like some people do trying to get into rumbles. <laughs> and Mazzani trying to help him out, let him know where the steps are. Kikusan is in. There we go. I was gonna say he's my pick, but I think he I think I think yeah. he's doing that. Look, yeah. at all, look at all the sponsors he's got on him, Kikataro. More sponsors than our banners over I'm here. I'm telling you. Man, Shout out Rocky T Security. Man, all that sponsorship. He's like the Brock Lesnar of this place. And Kid Guitar is already gassed. Oh, he just cracked his ribs on the edge of the ring. Or as some fans actually call it, the hardest part of the ring. Introducing issue number 29, the Warlord of Weird, Simba Well, oh, things just got strange. Number 29, Sin Bodhi. One of my initial trainers in pro wrestling, and he left a comment the other day letting me know that he was out for this, and I had to let him know, despite the attire, I ain't clowning around here. And he's going for the uh, biggest dog in the yard, Graves. Yeah, the warlord of weird, not the ward low of weird. Sin Bodhi, he's trained a lot of the FSW talent. He knows a lot of these people better than anybody in the ring. And look at that, he's just stomping away at Shogun. And you think of what happened back just, just two weeks ago against Matt Vandegrift. Yes. Vandegrift threw darts at the man. He sliced the watermelon on Van Vandegrift's ribs, on his stomach, with a sword. I still cringe at that to this moment. And look at this, Sin Bodhi. On Dave Mazzani, the full Nelson. We talked about masters earlier, and there's what they used to call the master lock, but that's a full Nelson with a claw. With a claw, with a great. claw. Whoa, it's being transferred. The energy's being transferred. We got some old school submissions going on in this matchup. Entry, entry number 30. Oh. A man who won the 
Feast or Famine match. We call this man a head ass. I don't know if I can say that over the Yes, you can. Yeah. <laughs> but that's what we call this guy where I'm from. This guy, the chief, has all the tools to be the greatest man, but he always, always, always wants to take the cheap way out. He always wants to take the shortcut. And that's why he will never make it to this championship around my waist. Because the moment he even gets close, I will be there to cut him down. You two had some bad blood several years back. But the head ass right now going after Vandegrift, the man he did probably didn't expect to see still in the match when he entered at number 30. That's right, he defeated Vandegrift and Vandegrift had to come in at number one. And now Travers is gonna add insult to injury and throw him out, no! Oh no! You know what, number 30 didn't work out for him. Point proven, you take shortcuts, you cheat your way to the top, you end up back at the bottom. Owen oh, Travers is in stunned disbelief. He came here tonight saying, I'm going to take out Chris Bay. Well, at least that old lady congratulated him on a hell of a performance. And, and look at that Shogun. They're all laughing at Owen Travers. This match stopped just so that because he's one of the most hated guys in the locker room, Jake. Nobody likes him. Not even Kikataru. Not even his girlfriend. Goodbye. Na, 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 na. Na, na, na. We can get Ricky Tenacious back out there. Now I see why you have a mixtape. And look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh no. there goes Vandegram. Number one and number 30. Right in front of Travers. Easter Famine. And Travers was acting like he had something to do with Vandegram being eliminated. Like. And all 30 men are He's in the me. match. We are down to the final nine. Many yep. people might be surprised to say DJ, say that, DJT, one of the final nine, and Kikataro, and out goes Hero Lou. Wow. Lou has been eliminated. Yeah, he was a sleeper in this match. It's because that right knee pad slid off. He didn't have his protection in the ring, it hurt him. Oh no! Oh. DJT has been eliminated. And by Shogun Jones. <laughs> you know it's him because you can see it on the side of his shorts. It says DJT. <laughs> Everybody's got to do that. Oh, and look at this, Shogun and Nino Black. And there's a scene for all of us to shed a tear over. DJT was laid out on the floor. We got the final seven. And look at that, Graves in the corner just watching the action. We got Three of these men have been finalists in the past with Shogun, Sefa, and Graves. And Nino with his favorite move. Dave Mazzani has been eliminated. All while wearing Jordans. This man is impressive, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you. And we I knew it was you because I saw the side of your shorts. Uh-oh, and look at this, Kikataro. Oh no, Kikataro! What, what, oh man. Gave the cat back in almost, he got halfway there. Vandergriff, you almost had it, good job. You tried your best, next year. Hey, post wrestling career, you should go into motivational speaking. I, I think so, I, I'm a big fan of C.T. Fletcher, if you know who that is. I do. Good. Pirate life. You should, I got his bracelet on right now. Kikataro has been eliminated. Kikataro is gone. We, we are down to the final five. Yeah, we got five bad men in the ring. Nino Black trying to claim something big in a second match back in FSW, Sin Bodhi. And look at Sefa. He just grabs both ropes. Very smart uh, strategy right there. Yeah, Sefa fought too. Saul, the against all. Uh, oh, man, even his head's not hard enough for Sefa. Five star. And Graves and Sefa working together. Oh, that's nothing. odd. Yeah, strange. Last time we saw these, whoa. And look like Graves trying to give the assist to take out Sefa, he knows. Hey, He's scheming. You gotta look for any opening you can in a match like this. And it looks like Sin Bodhi is, is barely hanging on. I see something, it's a Bruin, it's a super kick.
and down goes Senbody. We're down to the final four. One of these men, one of these superstars will be the one to face CB in the main event. Sefa Fatu, a former Nevada State Champion. Graves is a tag team champion and a former Nevada State Champion. Nino Black, a former tag team champion. Shogun, the only one without any gold. Shogun, the only one without any gold, but he okay. did win Rookie of the Year last okay. year. And Whoa. Shogun dropping the knee. Okay, I'm seeing you now. Oh no, there goes Nino. Whoa! Black has been eliminated. In a very familiar scene. Graves, you 2017 was a finalist. 2018, final four feature. Try again next year. Shogun and Sefa. Oh, look at that. Graves slides under the bottom rope. Not eliminated. Graves is not eliminated, but he is going to dictate the pace of the remainder of this matchup. The most experienced man in this no contest. Space for you over here, boss. We got it all handled. It was a at, a at Survival of the Fittest where we saw you, Chris, team up with the two men in the ring against Project Body Counts. Yeah. And we saw Graves, once the odds were against him, run away. The first time we ever saw that man run from a fight. So let's talk about strategy here, right? We're down to the final three, and we've got these two gentlemen in the ring. They're about to battle it out because they're going to allow him to stay on the floor. The bottom Why would you allow him to stay up? Look, 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 look. They're distracted. He's sneaking. Well, Sefa and Shogun did huge battle with you last year at Against All Odds inside the Rumble. Sefa threw me up so high, I could have grabbed that no limits title if it was there back then. You know, no matter which one of these three are victorious tonight, Chris Bay, you definitely have a tough night in store for you. And Shogun with the big boot. Look at that! Oh my lord! Elevated Samoan drop, crushes the ribs of Shogun, drives the wind out of his body, and Sefa Fatu is feeling it, but he doesn't see Graves! Wow! Yeah, it was 10 months ago when he took the Nevada State title from Graves. It was five months ago when Graves turned his back on Sefa Fatu after we thought they had formed a friendship and rejoined Hammerstone to form Project Body Count, and it was tonight that Graves took advantage of Sefa Fatu and eliminated her from the Against All Odds Rumble. And but once again, Graves outsmarts Sefa. But look at this! Sefa Fatu distracting Graves. Shogun Jones trying to take advantage of the situation. You notice I'm getting a little bit more quiet because I want to see. I want to see what's going to happen. I want to know which one of these two will it be. And Graves is such a dangerous challenge for, challenger for you should he win this matchup. He is all about destruction. Shogun Jones, you can say the same thing, but you've squared off one-on-one -on -one with him before. That was a much younger, much less experienced version of the man we're looking at today. And Absolutely. Since then, he's gone on to do, as you know, defeat Kenny King. Oh, great things he's done. As you know make a name for himself outside of Las Vegas, appearing on different television platforms. Look at this, Graves feels like it's about over. Yeah, but he can't deadweight, as strong as Graves is, it's gonna be hard for him to deadweight a man that size. That's a man that's 245 pounds of muscle who knows how to moonsault. You can't just move that guy. He has to move himself. We had a cough button. The right hand, big right hand from Shogun, rocking Graves. <laughs> <laughs> Big chop sends Graves flying. If you can knock Graves off his feet like that, you know there was a lot of impact behind that shot. Shogun psyching himself up, trying to get that adrenaline going. And Shogun trying to get rid of Graves. Oh, but Graves gets tangled up. That's what allowed him to hold on, and Shogun Thinks he eliminated Graves. Oh no! Absolutely not an upset, but Shogun Jones survives the field of 30 competitors. And tonight, he will get his rematch 
from No Escape against you, Chris Bay. This matchup has been 10 months in the making. And Grave, you could see the frustration. He wanted to join his boy Hammer as multi champions at the same time. Yeah, Project Body Count has two of the titles in this company, the Nevada State and the tag team. They thought they were gonna challenge for the FSW heavyweight title, but that's not gonna happen tonight. Second time in his career, Graves was a finalist. Second time he wasn't able to win the Rumble. We do know Project Body Count, they might be in possession of two of the championships in this company but they will not be getting a shot at another. And Graves once again falls just short. The runner up for the second time in three years. And now they are facing off at no escape. They did it last year in January. And now we have our main event set. Shogun Jones gets an opportunity once again. He's been clamoring for the last year to get another opportunity at Chris Bay and says it will be different this time around. Now he has the chance to prove it. The only reason Shogun and Chris formed that alliance this past summer was because Shogun wanted a title shot and he was willing to help Chris Bay against Project Body Count. But that's out the window tonight because Shogun Jones has won the Rumble and he has targeted Chris Bay and the FSW Heavyweight title.